Hi YouTube community. Um, I'm going to show you how to make some awesome coasters and out of seams of either jeans or clothing. And I'm going to give you some tips as we go along to save you some time. Just some little glitches that I ran into that I can help you with uh, with this uh, video to help you uh, get it right and go have it go really smoothly because it does seem simple but there's a couple little tricks that I would love to share with you so these are about a half an inch wide which is and about four and a half inches in diameter but a half an inch thick is a little bit different from your uh, regular coaster that you might get that's really thin so um, to make these, the first thing you're going to need is the clothing you want to use. Pick a clothing like jeans or a, a, a stiff kind of a cotton. Um, you don't want anything silky, really, because um, you want these to be able to hold uh, the glue and the shape. So um, starting with your jeans, uh, if you use a pair of scissors like these little peeking scissors, these are very sharp and they work very well for cutting seams. You're gonna need fabric glue or a glue um, that will apply to fabric and that is uh, non-toxic because you're, you're using it for your coffee, you, know, you might give it to people. But the, most of these are non-toxic, but that's a, just a suggestion. You're gonna need something that um, helps you measure the coaster um, especially if you're doing it the first time and um, like I said I'm working with about four and a half inch diameter but um, this is just the, the top of a uh, coffee can lid that's what this is so this uh, worked beautifully for to help me measure um, so just a couple tips now we're gonna get going on this um, when you find the seam of your jeans you're gonna you're not gonna cut right in the seam you're gonna cut next to it and um, so as you're going along you're cutting right next to it and if you look on the inside you'll see if you turn this what I usually do is turn it inside out at this point and I just cut right alongside of this on the other side of the seam and then you can fancy it up or trim it up afterwards so you're gonna cut until you get your seams and use the materials you want and once you get what you want together going to what I do anyway is sew them just give them a couple of stitches and sew some of these long strands of seams together it really helps you uh, to be able to hold to work it it's much easier I believe to work with this if you don't sew them and you're gluing straight through I believe that's a little more difficult to handle because I'm gonna show you the gluing process right now and it's super simple as you're gluing the only difficult part of this whole thing I believe is making sure you stay you're staying nice and straight you're keeping the material nice and straight as you're rolling Okay, and that might take a couple of tries, or you may get it the first time. But you're going to hold one side of it, and you're just going to stay really centered as much as possible. And once you get to the end of the glue, it's pretty well going to stay in place right there. You're going to add more glue, and you're going to go along like that. Now, as I said, if you want different colors, you want to make different designs, the only key I believe that's really important is that the material is stiff enough to work with. And the other important tip is that you're working with the same lengths. If you take a seam 
that is about an let's say that's about a half an inch that seam and then you're working with something like this that's you know like three quarters of an inch that might be a little difficult to work with as you're rolling because what's going to happen is when you're done rolling it you're, you're going to have a little effect where um it's not going to be smooth on the surface because it's going to be too much of a difference in the size. So you want your seams, different colors, beautiful, but you want to make sure they're the same size. So, um, and that's pretty much it. I hope that helps you and um, get ready for the holidays, Halloween, Christmas, and use up those old clothings that you have around, old pair of jeans and um, make yourself a nice present and or um, family and friends. So thank you for joining and I have more ideas for coasters coming up.